Hey Magic fans, welcome back. This is your captain speaking here on Captain Clyde's MTG. That's right, Marble Super Drop happened today, or Monday, yes, technically yesterday, and figured I'd be the first one to fill you in on the shit show that it was, because it was just bad. But before we get started with the non with the complaining, don't forget comment, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, comments down below will feed the YouTube out of the room. And we have the Thanksgiving giveaway coming up. Don't forget, links in the description, along with links to my eBay store. Mm -hmm. Help support the channel, keep us sponsor-free, or I might start selling feet pictures again, and I don't really do any much, make much money either. But anyway, so here we have it. Um, I'm filming this video a little later in the day. Um, uh, because it was uh, a shit show is one way to put it and to be fair i don't know how bad it was but i know how bad it's gonna be when people get a hold of this information so let's start with the obvious as you can see as of uh 7 p.m eastern time everything sold out okay everything now with that said let's peruse what happened to get us here? So, logged in at noon Eastern time, uh, 9 p.m. Pacific, uh, or I guess 11 now because of the time shift. Anyway, point being, uh, five minutes after the product releases. Okay? Okay. Go in, pick what I want, get into the queue. I notice on the bottom of my screen, the little dude who's always sitting down here walking around is standing still. And I'm like, well, that's odd. Maybe I need to refresh my screen. So refresh a few times, do the thing. And then I decide that I probably should read all the text that's on the screen, and there's a shit ton of it, to see what's going on. And it says, the queue is paused. No reason. Uh, it talked about technical difficulties. Yeah. I have technical difficulties getting out of bed every day. That doesn't mean I pause my life for it. Anyway, point being. So it was paused. It was paused for easily 30 minutes to an hour. I don't know for sure because I had other shit to do because, you know, work. Um, so I don't know when it unfroze exactly. I do know it was froze for at least 30 minutes from when I tried to get in. God knows how long before that. Now, with that being said, it said, uh, you will check out in an hour. I thought, all right, fair. Probably not going to get everything I want. Maybe I'll get a thing or two. Um, because an hour is a long time. Um, I did wait five minutes before I tried to log in. Game on me. Um, but, so be it. Uh, we'll, I'll do my best. So, I'm waiting. It's going again. It's like, it's got to be an hour. So I'm waiting. Hour comes, an hour goes. The little guy in the bottom of the screen has moved. But it still says it's got to be more than an hour. And I'm just like, this is odd. This is really odd. Then suddenly, out of nowhere, it comes up and it says, the, the screen refreshes, all by itself, mind you. Um, and it says, you will, your estimated checkout time is 2 p.m. Three hours later. And I'm like, what the beep? And then things start popping up on the screen. Now, I don't know if you guys watched very much when you guys try to get in there. But if you actually stare at the screen, a good thing that it started doing, however very upsetting at the same time, was when a secret layer sold out, it popped up on the screen saying, hey, this secret layer no longer available. Now, you can't go in and change your order status or you get kicked out of the queue. So as I'm sitting there, I'm watching over the next hours as more and more cards get stuck on the uh, sold out options until eventually, five hours later, from when I got into the queue, 
I get to the page to buy my, my product. And lo and behold, there's nothing available. As a matter of fact, everything is sold out. So I got to a screen that said, here's your cart, blank. Uh, would you like to ship? And I'm just like, ship what? Air and opportunity? What the fuck is this? So anyway, um, I like the fact that it told me what wasn't going to be there as I went through. But to be honest with you, if I select it and get a chance to get it and I get put in the queue, I honestly don't care if you tell me it's not there because I'm going to find out when I get to the end what is actually available for me. Now, maybe in some grand scheme somewhere and maybe somebody could be like, oh, the one or two things I wanted uh, are, no longer in, are no longer available, so there's no point in me staying in the queue. However, what if they are because they're queued to you? It, it's, I mean, maybe that's not how it works. And I'm sure it's not, but what if it is? Like, we don't have good details on them doing this for me, to, for me or honestly anybody else who really wants a product like this to just close the website and say F it. So there's that. Also, during the wait period, they also mention things like when you get to the final sell screen, I don't know how well this is, uh, you guys tell me, uh, it said that you are not guaranteed anything extra past what you order. And if you order extra, the extra will be canceled. And they might even cancel your whole order if you buy extra, the way I read it. Now, mind you, it wasn't worded really well. But that was the impression I got from it, and that'd be kind of shitty. So, with that said, I figured I would go ahead and make this video for first thing in the morning, uh, because probably before Tuesday, and before this video goes out there, uh, there'll be plenty of bitch videos about uh, people not getting this, how bad it was, the giant massive delay in going through the system, and this, that, and the other. And to be, to be completely honest and fair with you, I'm not so much mad as I am just kind of frustrated I didn't get a chance to get it. Because uh, I know that's part of it, and I sh should have been paying more attention. But, you know, some of us have to work for a living. Wizards. Um, so, yeah. And uh, I've kind of also taken to the mentality, as much as this sucks, that if I can't get the product from Wizards, I'm just not going to get it. Because I'm not going to go out of my way and pay extra money to people who want to resell this for three or four times its price. Just so I can have it. That's not my jam. Um, and I really don't care about it that much. Would it have been nice? Yes, it, it would have been very nice. Um, am I going to pay outlandish amount of money to people who want to scalp this and resell? Um, and I say scalp and resell differently because those are two different kinds of people. Um, no, I don't. And I think the problem is that easy turnaround money that people use this for is the reason that we get these big, massive buyouts. Now, some people are probably booking some of this stuff away to be sold later. But the more people don't buy this past what's actually being sold and keep the price low to the selling point of you may make $5 if you flip it, and that's $5 not counting, you know, selling fees and everything else you have to do to sell the stuff would probably go a long way to fix the problem that people are complaining about, about not being able to get their product. Just don't buy it. Period. Ever. And I know you want it. I get it. I do. I really do. Because I love Marvel too. Let's not, let's not, you know, say some weird shit that, I'm trying to downplay this or this, that, and the other. But at the end of the day, there is only so much product to go around, and I'm okay with that. And eventually, these people will always sell, and the more of them that get burnt because they bought extra and can't make a profit off of it, the more often those people won't buy again. Because trust me, if... It doesn't matter what you're in. Uh, example, PlayStation 5s when they first came out, people were buying them up in all kinds of cheap, 
and back deal room ways at um, retail stores and what have you and flipping them online for $1,500 to $2,000 to other people when they were going on sale for five or 600 And all it took was to know somebody who worked in the Walmart for them to swipe you one off the shelves at normal price and then they get listed at three, four, five times the price and people bought them. The problem with that is when you allow people to flip products like that, much like Magic in general too, what you're allowing and what you're encouraging is people to do this to you. Because trust me, unless you have it in at every store for every product that you ever want and somebody who will get away with it and do that for you, there's always going to be somebody who knows that because there's too many people in the world and someone will do it if they can make money. Welcome to human nature, capitalism, and everything else that's wrong with the planet. So, I like capitalism. Anyway, point me in. Um, I know it's hard to do, and it's probably not going to happen. But simply put, you don't have to have these exact cards. And as we've been told before, these cards will get reprinted with normal printings and other sets. Um, that they've mentioned before. So we'll see what happens and how it goes and how bad the, the blowback, the back blow. Uh, anyway, we'll see how bad people blow up about all this. Uh, at the end of the day, am I upset I didn't get it? Yeah, I am. But what I'm not going to do is pay more than what this would have would have costed to buy it outside of this. Um, now, when someone gets down to close to the same level as this, like $40, or 45 and they have to pay the shipping, I'd probably buy it off of them then because they're going to lose money in that. And I'm okay with that. But until then, I think I'm good. And I hope you are too. So, until next time, be kind. And as always, I hope to see you across from the game table.